learning outcomes and assessment criteria. What's the difference and what changes as learners progress? In short, a learning outcome is what you're going to learn and the assessment criteria describes what you're expected to do in order to show that the learning outcome has been achieved. Every CPCAB learner will receive a candidate guide containing their learning outcomes and assessment criteria. Every level will have seven learning outcomes and these learning outcomes always connect to one of CPCAB's seven processes. The seven processes is a framework set out by CPCAB which applies to all levels and qualifications. We have more videos on this topic, but for now it's important to understand that each process, such as working reflectively, is a theme that each learning outcome falls under. In this extract, we're looking at the seventh and final learning outcome from our level two certificate in counselling skills. The learning outcome here is to use feedback and reflection to enhance counselling skills. The assessment criteria explains the task that needs to be completed and the bullet points act as guidance on how to evidence the assessment criteria. This structure is applied to all our levels and qualifications. In this extract, we're looking at the seventh and final learning outcome from our level four diploma in therapeutic counselling. The learning outcome is to reflect and evaluate own counselling work within agency settings. As you progress through your training, the learning outcomes require deeper understanding and knowledge of the subject, yet still fall under the themes from the seven processes. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of learning outcomes and assessment criteria. Click the playlist to watch more videos in this series.